we go, boys. A little bit of PTA Leona. They have nothing. Man. They have nothing but squishy immobiles on their team, essentially. So, don't really even need Aftershock. We're going to be playing in an insanely, insanely aggressive way. We got PTA, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut Down. Uh, cut Down? I shouldn't have gone Cut Down. Oh, my God. Okay, we got Twitch's Splash. Yeah, we sh definitely shouldn't have cut down here. Um, but then we got Relentless Hunter, Cheap Shot, Alacrity, Attacks, AD, Movement Speed, Scaling Health. We're just going to be playing insanely, insanely aggressively. Uh, yeah, we're against a Diamond bot lane. So you already know they're going to be sweating. And it doesn't matter. We're just going to beat their skulls in. Who's with me? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how, how to play Leona into lanes where they don't have like any form of disengage or like CC. It's very very easy. I also have an ADC that's uh relatively good at following up. Jin can just press W on whoever I stun. All right, we're gonna post up in the bush. We're just gonna auto Q auto if she wards this. Chilling, we're chilling. We get some hits on the uh, some minions here. Auto Q auto. This guy's dead. L O L. That's a diamond player, guys. That's a diamond. Why would you take PTA? Smile. <laughs> Why would you face check into Leona? They're already tilted. That's why it's so important to uh, take control of these bushes. Because their options are to ward it or to face check it. Neither one of those are very good options for them. Mostly Yona's tickle. I am not mostly Yona's. You'll learn. I will break their line. <laughs> <laughs> we killed her twice at level 1, bro. Oh, shot. Man, there's got to be... so Someone out there has given us Leona players a bad name. If, th if this is how bad she's disrespecting us. All right. We out. We're going to leave a ward there. Don't even greed. This guy's greeting for one auto attack on a turret. What that's going to do is offset his tempo by like 30 seconds. Because now he has to walk all the way back here. It's very, very bad. Wow. Five months. That's crazy. I can't even count that high. Hope you have a good stream, Professor Akali. Shut up. Yo, do do rubber duck coming in with the prime for five months. Thank you so, so much. Can we get some eye oaky gasms in the chat? Appreciate you, man. All right. Since we've already won bot lane, we're just going to roam here. If we can get to this play before Zerath dies, it's going to be like the biggest thing in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Beautiful. My team's uh my team's kind of good. Should we should push this? I'm gonna get my passive on the whole wave. Go to TP. I can go gank bot. You jump boy the 36 months for prime. Thank you so so much. Give me some yasms. Happy Sunday, bro. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Don't do it, baby. Don't do it. She steps up to the wave. We can just go. Hmm. Hmm. She goes for this minion. There it is. <laughs> you think she's having fun, guys? I have to flash out of that. I didn't think Twitch would be right there. Also, didn't think I would take a turret shot. Alrighty. Now we go back. We have a 3 0 Skarner jungle. Guys, this is how you just like absolutely run the map as Leona. It's so crazy the impact you can have. We're just gonna walk mid again. 
We've got tier two boots before Anivia has either boots. And we've got Relentless on her, so we are just insanely fast. We're an immobile champion, but it certainly doesn't feel like it right now. Gonna run our sweeper here. Make sure we're not on a ward, and she's already dead. Hello. Nice, and it went on Zareth. Well, I missed a pretty easy E, but doesn't didn't really end up mattering. I'm gonna yoink some plates here. And I'm gonna go top to counter that gank on Zed. Uh, actually we can just play for... Oh, no shot you can do this, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this the biggest support gap in all of all time? Like, actually. Okay, unfortunately, I, I can't even walk over there. I just have to wait for him. I'm glad Teemo survived, though. What are these runes? You're mega strong. Dude, PTA di early damage is absolutely unbelievable. It's genuinely... I, the, he, here's... Because I get asked a lot on YouTube. Like, how do you know when to go? Like, Aftershock, Glacial, PTA. One, Glacial is not really ran on Leona right now. It should be between Aftershock and PTA. And how I look at it is that if you have, like, a 75 to 80% chance of being able to snowball bot, you should go PTA. And what that usually looks like is, if do they have two champions that you can consistently apply PTA on? So you don't want to run it against Janna, who if I E in, she's going to Q me out of my combo. But if I find the E on Senna, how's she going to stop me from auto Q autoing? There's nothing she can do. So there's no real way for her to stop me from proccing it. We're going to be playing into their entire team right here. We have, Zer we have Zareth coming, though. Um, It's a little sus. It's a little sus, for sure. Oh my god, bro. It's me. Up. Okay, there's his Ignite as well. I mean, honestly, we could dive this Senna. He's probably gonna want to reset after that red though. Oh, I don't can he even get that red? I can't I can't stay for this, bro. This this is overstaying. Ever vigilant. Mega overstaying there. Uh hmm. Still go Trailblazer. Shoot, doesn't have a Kindle gem. We'll just get our full locket. We should have rushed Trailblazer just with how much we're roaming here. All right, I have all five procs of my Relentless Hunter at level four. Like that, th like this is just insane, actually. Rally to me. Uh, Anivia is gonna play really safe under a turret. She's in a bad matchup now, and she's a wave clear champ. So just keep going down on bot lane here. Oh no. I'm just gonna pop my locket, absorb that. That was a little unforch. My E dragged me under the turret when she flashed. Uh go back again. Look how much also look how much like impact I'm having on the map, but also how much solo XP I'm giving to Jin. We have a level seven Jin. Like we basically just have an entire extra solo laner. And as we know, solo laners are the best roles in the game. The sun always rises. Um, alrighty. Getting Dragon for free. <gasps> Timo died! He ruined the perfect game. I didn't shoot my E. I don't really know when Anivia's flashes, and I just don't want to give her a chance to flash out of my E, and then we never catch her. 
Since Skarner's Q slows her permanently, I can just walk at her. Just walk at her. And if you notice, if you go back and rewatch that, she was dodging left and right while I'm just running at her at a straight line. It's a concept called making them dodge themselves to death. Same thing he's doing. He tried to dodge back and forth a few times. We just walk straight at him. Just walk straight at them. Another month of asking you to marry me. Pardon my soul. Coming in with the prime for 18 months. Thank you so so much for the continued support. Unfortunately, I am currently married. Do the grind. That was about all. Should have just walked at him. Got spooked by Skarner pulling off. I'm still down to fight this. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Dude, seeing Skarner kidnap people is so freaking funny. And now we go down on bot. We're gonna go blood song here. I will break their line. It's playing a super super aggro build. Cinna has no flash. These guys are super dead. <gasps> Jin! Let's take the Senna. Where are you going? Alright, not the worst. Leona is the Ash of Supports, inherently useful. Uh, I, I would definitely agree with that. Insanely easy to play champion with little pockets of mastery that you can, you know, get good at. Always useful. Everyone wants a tank on their team. Everyone wants point and click CC. That is a very apt comparison. I remember when I was doing my ADC climb, I was always really happy when I had a Leona ADC. Or a Leona support. I'm taking it. I earned this one, boys. Yes, sir. Yeah, the PTA plus Bloodsong damage is just out of this world, man. Uh, we're going to be stepping over a ward here. It doesn't really matter. I can flash on someone here. Too bad. I'll just lock it. I'll just lock it. Absorb some damage. Okay, it's pretty bad, actually. Uh, and Brainiac coming in with the prime. Thank you so, so much for the support, man. Hope you're enjoying the show, bro. All right, I would definitely be able to trade a one for one there. But look at my shutdown. I do not want to give my this shutdown to a Twitch. The mid lane Ash comparison, like who who in mid lane is one of the most inherently useful champs? Probably something like Galio. Galio is like one of the biggest like get out of jail free cards in the mid lane. Good wall. That was a terrible ult. Still landed though. Auto Q auto. Got her egged at least. Got Scar Scar coming in. Uh, I don't think we actually fight this, bro. Do you want this? We were not on the same page there. At least you got the Twitch. I gave a big shutdown to Zed. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. By the way, I need to see some freaking Ioki Gazin in the chat. For Am Brainiac, he could have dropped that Twitch Prime on any streamer out there. And he chose deliberately to use it on the greatest alive. To give back to the man who has given him so much. <laughs> oh. Do I see a comeback? Uh, Jin? 
Uh, Jin? I'm just gonna stop that, bro. If I die, so be it. I I'm unironically gonna say that's worth. Because now they have no Yone ult. They have no Yone TP. What is that, a three and a half minute cooldown? Uh, we're gonna get Dragon off that because death timers are really, really low. We got top turret. It is what it is, man. I'm willing to die for that. Be chilling. Chosen of the sun. All right, now they're just getting desperate objective bounties. I hate Twitch invis, bro. The fact he can get out of that is just so insane. Which is invis is like one of the most lenient mechanics in the game. And I hate that Twitch players are allowed to feel like they're good at the game when they get out. Board here, ping that. First time I managed to catch your stream for the first time live from Australia. Yo, what is up, man? Or what is down, I guess? Mate. Are we really doing this, bro? Are we really doing this? That's crazy. That's a crazy way to use your flash as Senna. Elder Frey, what's up, man? Rally to me. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, we can play for dive. We could also bring. We, we need to be shifting Teemo down here. Oh my. Uh, Teemo never shifted. We can just take our backs. We chilling. Happy Sunday, just GSA. What's up, bub? Welcome. How the vibes today? I'm chilling, bud. It's a, it's a very chill, relaxing Sunday. The game we're in is not chill or relaxing, but... What we can out here. Just gotta play for dragons. We got some pretty good ones to play for. All right, I will say the biggest drop off or the biggest downside to playing PTA Leona, let me get that red, is it gets a little harder to get max value out of it the longer the game goes. Like you do actually notice like the absence of tankiness. That had to have been his flash. That was his flash, he flashed, he flashed. Yeah, not the, you do start to like notice the lack of aftershock. Uh oh, We're fighting uh, an unkillable champion, bro. Don't worry, I'll fight him next. Oh, terrible, terrible E flash. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta start landing some stuff, guys. All right, we gotta play back towards our Zerath. We don't play into him. I am super, super dead. Unless the Zenith Blade escape. Oh my God! Thank you, Zed. <laughs> I was so dead there. Amazing. Yeah, it's our it's our first game of the day. We're missing a couple ultis and E flashes, but other than that, we've had very good presence. Very, very good support gap this game. Big one. Yeah, cut down has dealt seven damage, guys. <laughs> All right, we have Xerath ult. 
and he's really, really fed with Malignants. How does he not have a second item? You're seven, one, and eight. It's buying like too many components, I, I think. But yeah, even with his mangled build, should be able to one shot whoever I lock down if he's in range. Bro, I cannot land these ultis today. We're gonna call them zoning alts, guys. <laughs> Twitch had a good time there. He had a very good time. All right, got another dragon in 20. staying here. Go get our drag boys. They'll have to get through me. Alright, I'm gonna land my next alt, guys, I promise. Yona players are not known for their for their landing their skill shots. Most of them aren't anyways. I mean, Zareth is in range to ult, so if I find someone. First light approaches. Kinda wanna kinda wanna go on her. I did it! Okay, she she flashed it. I landed that ulti. I landed that ulti, guys. They will be We're counting that one as a land. Yone, no ult. Uh... Love that champion, man. Really, really a big fan of Yone's design. Locket coming in clutch here, though. 1600 damage blocked. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, Senna. Oh, Senna. What are you doing? Can pressure Baron here. If they want to do it, me and Zareth can zone. Emo Skarner should be enough DPS, I think. Oh. I'm dead. Bummer. I needed to, uh, so Zed must have tenacity somewhere in his build. Because if you notice, my EQR missed there. So what I needed to do was ERQ. You change the combo if anyone has tenacity. So if I had him locked down there, it would have taken him longer to get his ulti off. He might have died sooner. I'm gonna drop your E. He must have legend tenacity, I guess. Not tenacity on his build. Oh wait, there's also a tenacity rune now. He might he might just have. He might just have the tenacity rune. That's a really lame part about the new tenacity rune, is you can't see their rune shards so you don't know which combo you're supposed to do as leona so if they have if, if champions have no tenacity eqr is like the most standard one right always lands all right i have five seconds on my all zareth doesn't have all so i kind of have to like stall for him a little bit
It's not even worth flashing for her. Just literally worthless. I thought about I thought about it. Just just so she doesn't get the execute, but it's not even worth. Dude, I hate this champion. I'm just getting kited around by everyone, bro. <laughs> if you miss your E, you just get kited so hard on this champ. Uh, that seems illegal. All right. Interesting. Very interesting game we got here. We got Soul coming up in a minute. Kind of surprised they didn't FF this game. He killed their Senna twice at level one. They're down by 14 kills. What's the win con this game? Literally any of my champions. Uh, I, I guess other than like Jin. Jin is not like insanely fed, but the entire top side of the map is like super fed. So if I if I just fight with them, we should win everything. Okay, should be free one. Might step up. They're gonna get desperate for this dragon. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nivia has. Whoa! Why is Jin speed walking? Bro, that character gets so freaking fast. It's actually unbelievable. And there it is, boys. There is the FF. We got a little sloppy in the mid game. Messed up a couple combos, but an absolute masterclass on how to snowball your early game. Would you guys agree? I mean, we killed their support twice at level one. That literally should not even be possible. All right, let's take a look at the damage charts. Did 14,000 damage. And then you got to remember, guys, Leona's passive, that damage is attributed to other characters. So I actually did a lot more damage this game, if you count my passive as my damage. But uh, but yeah, that was, that was a super fun game. That's how you effectively utilize the early game strength of PTA Leona. PTA Bloodsong is still very, very strong. Uh, and yeah, go forth and use it. If you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think about the build strat down in the comments. Always take it easy. Peace. Uh.